Awesome. So I guess we are live now. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, those who are here, thanks for joining us. Uh, today, we have a session called uh, How to Build on Tezos. And we have you know wonderful uh, team, Dibio, who is CEO of InstaRace here. So we are going to be talking about multiple things. You know How Dibio started his journey in Tezos, what, what he is building. What is Insta is about, and you know how you as a developers or as a community or as in any individual can start with Tezos, right? So just a brief introduction. Hi everyone, I am Om, uh, president of Tezos India, uh, and uh, Tezos India is a uh, non-profit entity to drive adoption of Tezos uh, in the Indian region, and we do that by uh, doing you know a broad variety of activities such as hackathons, uh, community meetups, developer meetups, partnerships, and also. Uh, providing support to startups, corporations, uh, government, et cetera, to get them on board on Tezos. Uh, so that was about me. Uh, and I'll first let uh, the, first let Dibio introduce himself. We have Dibio, who is CEO of, CEO of Instalays, but I think Dibio, you can give a uh, more wider introduction. So Dibio, over to you. So, hey, hi, everyone. So this is Dibio and I'm the co-founder and CEO of InstaDays. So uh, I have been into this crypto ecosystem from uh, 2018 and I've been building from in Ethereum, then Hyperledger, and then uh, uh, I got introduced to Tezos ecosystem from uh, Tezos India Foundation and Ohm only. And there my journey started with Tezos. And now we are here with InstaDays. It's an ideal launch pad and a fully incubation platform where we do the ideal launches in a very trustless and a secure manner so you'll come to know about more uh, about in stories so yeah that's pretty much about it awesome thanks for the introduction Dibio. um and again uh, i would like to uh pay attention towards uh, all, all the viewers that are going that are watching and they are going to watch us uh, please feel free to ask us any questions. Uh, you know, uh, we at Tales India, we are always um, open for questions, always open for help. If you're building anything cool, if you want any help, uh, feel free to reach out, uh, reach out to us in our develop, uh, in our Telegram channel uh, or in our, or you can go to simply our website and uh, or inquire about any specific query that you might have. Um, then, uh, without further ado, I'll like let Dibio uh take the stage and uh take you through his journey uh and take you through this entire session where, where he's gonna be delivering and gonna be talking about some really cool things so yeah Dibio, over to you and i hope all of you guys have a good time thanks a lot Ong, for the awesome introduction and yeah thanks to tezos india foundation too so for uh, having me here so let's start off with the uh, presentation let me share my screen. Okay. Cool. Uh, I feel my screen is visible now. And uh, we can start off with why build on Tezos. So it's been an awesome journey from the very beginning uh, to at this point of time where we are actually a company right but uh, helping other projects to build on tezos and helping other projects to grow as we do so uh let's start off with the session the session is more of kind of uh why tezos why we are here and how our whole journey was like when we started off how my journey started and how we came across uh, Tezos India, then how we started building and how we are doing at this stage. And afterwards, we'll be bringing on InstaRace, like how uh, the things are getting revolutionized with InstaRace. So let's start off with the first part, right? Uh, so first part is for our experience building InstaRace and how we started. So guys feel free to ask any questions and we can take it up and uh, this whole uh, stream is actually uh, going in youtube so feel free to interact there also so uh let's start off with the introduction right 
so how it is like to build on Tezos and how we started it. As I told, uh, I was into Ethereum and into Hyperledger lately, and I have started my blockchain journey from there itself. But uh, since the inception of uh, Tezos, I came to know more about uh, Tezos India Foundation and how it's working. At that time, Tezos India Foundation came up to India, and it was uh, we actually uh, met a lot of people around Tezos who are building currently building around it. So Ohm was there to help out. So we came across why shouldn't we build on Tezos? What's the perks of it? I came to know more about Tezos very closely, what it is. And we actually, we came to do it. Uh, this is the right thing. What we say as being uh, Tezos is a very much good blockchain in terms of the algorithm that they use in terms of security, in terms of consensus algorithm to be specific, like it uses liquid proof of stake. And at this point of time, when we are paying a huge gas fees in Ethereum, we can do it easily in Tezos, right? Means the gas fee is very less. And we thought like it's a very much developer friendly thing that anyone can actually put on their contracts into the main net itself and test how it goes. So the initial part, right? The initial journey started when uh, we started developing on it. We started uh, doing some testers around uh, how our contract should look, look like, right? So as a developer's perspective, we see Tezos does have a very much great infra around it. We have tools that can actually make a difference means they are very much easy to use. There are languages, smart contract languages that you can use, like a smart buy. That's very much easy and very much iterative, right? You can do testers around it. And that's very intuitive for a developer to get into it and experience the heat of the smart contracts. And not just that, you can directly deploy it to the main net and showcase your product right that's something we see that's really cool and that makes tezos very much product friendly to get onto it and test all you have with the real public and the real funds that's when uh, we got addicted to tezos ecosystem and we feel that this is something that's going to revolutionize right so the initial journey started off with the developer experience where we built a lot, we built, uh, we experimented a lot around all the smart contracts. And then we came around the DeFi boom in the Tezos ecosystem. I'll uh, come to it later on, but let's see why we chose Tezos. So there are multiple factors. First factor that I want to concentrate on is the community and the developer experience that I have already covered, but I'll cover it more closely now. So when you come up with a project, right, in Tezos ecosystem, you see the community coming forward and helping you to boost up. That's when you see the engagement of the community itself to, uh, they are very much interested in your project and they want to, uh, they actually participate in your project and give you suggestions to make it better. That's something you don't get in any other ecosystem. So first up is the community that we see, and it's very much supportive. And as of my experience, community is very much getting bullish on the projects that are coming on. So we feel this is the right time to get into the Deus ecosystem. Apart from that, what we have seen is the developer experience. When the developer experience I have already stated, there is very much uh, things, uh, infrastructure is very much good enough, right? To get a programming friendly user to come into the Tezos ecosystem and actually build smart contracts. That's something we have seen a lot of people who are not familiar with smart contracts and are coming into this ecosystem, right, directly just because we have smart buy and more secure languages and that are native to any other languages like smart pies, uh, kind of Python. 
So you can literally code in Python to create smart contracts. How crazy is that? So that's fair, right? Things goes a different way and help you to get on board, even if you're not very much experienced with smart contract jobs. And as we see the developer infrastructure is actually going very exponentially, the documentations and the things that we are getting provided for, let's say, take an example of smartpy.io. Smartpy.io is doing a great job drafting the documentation as for the feedbacks, drafting the ID, and they are making it so much easy to use, right? Anyone can get on started with it. So this is something, right? The community and the developer friendly infrastructure that we have actually push us a lot to build on Tezos. So that's why we chose Tezos and uh, obviously the, uh, the foundation, right? The Tezos India Foundation has supported us to build on it and actually get a traction of it. Next thing is the growth, right? The growth, what we are seeing right now, let's say maybe uh, last uh, four to five months that the DeFi ecosystem uh, is growing like hell. Like it has been growing like any, like any other ecosystem that you can see right now. So what we are seeing uh, in couple of uh, from a couple of months, right? It all started off with NFTs, right? Hiketnam coming in, and they have a lot. Means they have a transaction through, but right means a lot of people are interacting that are more than uh, other ecosystem NFT platforms, right? Like OpenSea or something. But we feel that NFT boom has led the out towards Tezos and now the DeFi ecosystem with the products like 20 DeFi, 20, they are actually pushing a lot towards uh, the ecosystem growth. So these things are, uh, this is the right time when people are building on it and we are seeing a lot of uh, potential into the projects that are coming in. And people, the community are very much supportive for those guys that actually help the project owners to keep up and pace and bring more and more for the ecosystem. La there is always a leverage of being an early builder. So whenever you build things early and you see the growth that's, that you are having in the ecosystem, that can actually help you to be in a next level when the ecosystem is at a full pace. So what we feel, this is the right time for the eco means for builders to come into the play and build it. Build any product around it, maybe DeFi, maybe NFTs. There are a lot of innovative concepts that you can see. It's already there in the D uh, DeFi and uh, blockchain ecosystem. But what we see is the leverage of being an early builder. This is the right time to get into it and build as much as possible. So now what uh, comes the best part is how insurers help. Why, uh, why I'm here in is, right? In space, I feel when we have started off, we feel like empowering the Tezos ecosystem as a whole and bring on more liquidity into it. So what we did is we started off with an ideal launch pad. We had us, but we are not just an ideal launch pad. We had a process to, we had a process to bring on more project and help them in and out from every aspect. So we have the ideal launch pad as a feature, but this actually helps how to, a project to go from a initial build phase to actually launching it and raising funds from the uh, in terms of crowdfunding from the public itself we have a whole due diligence backing up for the projects right to get on board what are the unique features right so people have a lot uh, means people have already seen a lot of uh, ideal launch pads that are uh, 
there in other blockchain ecosystem that are there in any of uh, like Ethereum, like BSCs, there are a lot of uh, eco means a lot of ideal launch pads are there. But why we are different? So we had added a lot of innovation into this ecosystem, right? Into this IDO platforms, specifically that we are building in. Well, if I sum up some of the unique features, right? So we made the whole process of uh, building, I means raising from public, like uh, doing a pre-sale to the IDO uh, DEX offering facilitation. We take the whole process in a very trustless manner. And actually that aids the investors that are investing in our platform to bring on more trust in the process. We actually eliminate the process of a means, eliminate the scams that are having the ideal launch pad, such as drug pulls. What we have is an automated structure of liquidity providing, right? And we log the liquidity of the project owners for a certain period of time that is actually visible to the investors upfront that, hey, this guy want to lock his liquidity for this much amount of time. So we made it transparent and we made the whole process automated. Like, yeah, this percent of the raise is going to the liquidity pool for sure as a part of the trust we are providing to the investors, right? This actually help us to mitigate the rug pulls that are happening in the IDEO ecosystem. We don't give the all authority of the raise to the project owners, but we also care about how investors are in, right? How investors should also uh, be trusting us and uh, it should be a fair position where investors can actually be a part of the project. They should not be left unaware like, uh, okay, some projects coming in, they have raised through our platform. Then we give, we have given the whole authority to the project owner and they have also provided the liquidity. But at a point of time, what happens, they have a minor scan and they have the liquidity and all the investors are, does not have any clue, right? That, uh, uh, the, the, their token is not tradable. They don't have any value back on it. So we actually mitigate all these problems and we are making it very much in a trustless manner so that investors also have a leverage. Plus the next feature we have is one of the innovation that is coming in for the first time in the IDEO ecosystem is the Cool weight score with a time leverage. It's also a perk for the investor when people are investing, right? They have to get for getting a guaranteed allocation in their private sale. What is there is they have to get a pool weight score. For getting the pool weight score, they have to push on uh, their Insta tokens for staking in our platform. So now what happens is not only uh, you are getting a single uh, pool weight score, but as you hold the token, right? As you stake the token, there is a time leverage that you get, right? Whenever you are part, suppose you are uh, staking an amount and you are entering into a tier, but as the time goes, if you can actually see our tier based system, as the time goes, you actually get the leverage of uh, the time and you can see your pool weight as higher scores when you participate. So there is a reason of holding our token. There is a reason to stake our token and also uh, just for staking, you are getting leverage. You're getting a greater pool weight score and greater pool weight score means better allocation and greater allocation in the private sales. So your staked amount is not just wasted, right? So there is this is something that we came up with the first time. But not only that, so we brought in NFTs into place. So we have NFT backing pool weight scores. So suppose, uh, what let me share you a use case, right? If you have a stake for a longer time and the staked amount is fixed, right? So now what happens is you have a higher pool weight score than you deserve just because of the time leverage. But when you unstake, 
what happens is the whole staking uh, the whole time leverage goes into vein we don't want that to happen we introduce nft in that place so what happens is whenever you want to uh, uh, you want your pool weight score to be fixed and you want to delegate or trade it so somewhere with a time leverage what you can do is you can create an nft and you can uh, that whole nft will represent your pool weight score and now you have the ability to trade that nft to someone else that makes sure that uh, your time leverage is constrained it means your time leverage is there with you and even if you don't want to invest you can just delegate it. you can just actually uh, transfer it to someone else and that nft will give that other person an allocation so this way we actually are coming up with great things into this idea ecosystem and of course the trustlessness and security are our first priority and we make sure that investors into our ecosystem are fair enough are getting enough to uh, uh, build on it and trust the projects that we are bringing in so yeah uh, a lot about in surveys now so what we facilitate is to help a project to go through the journey towards a product right so we came up with the three things like formalized market and launch this is something we uh, actually consider as the steps that should be taken to take a project to product right so first thing we actually uh, offer is to formulate the how the token sale should be if you need a token then how it should be formulated how the token sale should be formulated from the tokenomics to the end of how the pre sale should be conducted we make sure that you are all set with all these things and we also make sure right that you reach to the right market that you reach to the people you are concerned of right we actually help you to reach the market and gather the audience that will use your product once it's a project right you have built it that's totally fine but you if you want to take it as a product you need you a lot of marketing so we provide that we have expertise and that front that can actually help you to do the formal marketing in the initial phase and to kick off your journey the next thing is the launch the launch is the crucial part right where your tokenomics comes into the play and show how your token can do so people will be participating in your uh, in uh, and being and will be, be uh, a part of your token launch right so people will be buying your tokens and you will be get, uh, you will be raising your funds from the public itself that will actually uh, help you leverage the public money and use it to give them a better output right this is where the pre sales come into play and our ticketing system comes into play the from small investors to big investors can come into the in, into our platform and can be a part of it so this is how the whole token facilitation is done and this is how the whole process is carried out at instaways we make sure that good projects only come into our our platform that's actually something that is needed right we do our due diligence to ensure that the projects that we are bring for the investors are good enough to be a uh, to be invested in so we do our due diligence before the that's the very first part that you can see uh, as uh, in the formalizing phase so that's uh, pretty much how the journey looks like and that's how we can help the pro uh, projects to come into the real world and be a part of the project right so that's uh, pretty much about how things should be into the ecosystem when you are in the early phase of building it so yeah uh, 
that's all about how the things will be taken care of and how the things are actually making an impact to the ecosystem we pledge to bring on more liquidity into the ecosystem and we will make sure that more and more projects are coming in and we help them to grow and we make them a market fit product so that's much about uh, instaries the pesos and how the whole journey are supported by the pesos foundations so that's pretty much it from my side so yeah yeah thank you so much tibio for giving us a insightful talk on why you should build on pesos and also sharing your ex developer experience on pesos and also talking about your instaries project i think it pretty much gave an insight for the audience on how to kick start their journey and how to explore pesos so we'll see if we have any questions coming in from the audience uh, and then we can quickly take those questions up and have it answered yeah so sure. guys please feel free to um, ask any questions that you have okay so i don't think we have any questions coming in from the audience uh, once again thank you so much dibyo for for taking up the session have a good day thanks a lot to tejo sandhya foundation to uh, bring us on board and have the session about us guys thanks a lot thank you